Hello everyone, Deadeye here, and this is a quick video on the steps I took to get my Steam controller working for Elden Ring. The game just came out, and I loved it a lot, but unfortunately I noticed real quick the Steam controller wasn't working. Um, I read online that other players are having problems with other kinds of controllers. Um, I can't speak if that these steps would help. They may or may not, I don't know. I don't have those other controllers to test. These are the steps I took specifically for Steam controller, okay? And it worked for me. So first thing I did was I turned off um, VJoy. For those who don't know, VJoy is a third-party controller driver. Um, there are other kinds under other names. I had it installed on my computer for support in another video game. I turned mine off so that Ellen Rig would be less confused about which controller is plugged in. I did that on a driver level. If you have VJoy or any other kinds of controller software installed, think about disabling it on the driver level. Okay. The steps I took in Steam, though. So the first thing is under Elden Ring specifically, you can go into settings. You can right click on games and go into properties, or you can click the little button over here and properties. This will bring up the settings, go to controller, and then overwrite for Elden Ring, use default settings, turn this to enable Steam out, uh, input. Okay. Then, in Steam, you want to go to the generic controller settings. So go into Steam, Settings, Controller, General Controller Settings, right? Open that up. This is going to open up Big Picture Mode. You can also get to this menu in Big Picture Mode. And then basically turn all these on. So Generic Gamepad, Switch Pro, Xbox. Don't need to turn on the extended feature support for this. And then PlayStation Configure Support. Okay. Back. And then OK. And those were the settings I changed to get Steam Controller support working for Elden Ring. 